Okay, I've got this thing working a little better. Uh, I'm still not convinced it's tuned up. Uh, I'm still working on that. Uh, this is the output from the uh, uh, photo detector. Um, still have the uh, probe open here. Um, you can see that when I put my finger in the beam, the signal level drops a lot. So I'm going to take my finger off the laser, and you can see it comes up. So that's how that works. The target is over here on this piece of, uh, uh, it's basically a tablet with a piece of reflective tape stuck on it. And if you look at the distance, it is about three to four feet away from the head. And the noise that you're hearing, especially when the air conditioner comes on, is, uh, is the vibration of the air conditioner. That's what all that flutter is. And as soon as the air conditioner goes off, you'll see that uh, the vibration that it's coupling through the frame of the house will actually stop. But right now, it's shaking this whole assembly substantially. This again being the laser head. Here's the Bragg cell in here. Uh, this is a 35 megahertz modulator. Now you can hear that uh, the air conditioner went off. And so the beam's over there. And now I'm going to just move my feet around. Just moving my feet around makes that movement. So that movement is all based on the laser interference between the heterodyned uh, and the reference laser. And that's what it all sounds like when you're listening to the 35 megahertz output um, on uh, radio here. It's still a relatively weak signal, however. 